love sweet friends and a Merry Christmas. I know it's a few days late, but for those of you who need to hear it, Christmas is not over yet. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. If you are celebrating the 12 days of Christmas or whatever it might be called in your country, I hope that you enjoy the rest of your festivities up until January 6th. I know that this year has been tough for a lot of people, me included, and if you didn't have the time to do Christmas activities, to bake cookies, or to watch that one Christmas film you wanted to watch, this is just a reminder that you can still do that. You have time. You don't have to rush into the new year. You don't have to close the chapter of Christmas just yet. I know me personally, I am still very much living in that fog of life between Christmas and New Year's where you don't know what day it is. I wake up and and I put on Christmas films. I'm still drinking peppermint hot cocoa and watching all of my presents. Yes, I mean watching them. I'm basically like a dwarf. That's what they are in Lord of the Rings, right? They kind of, they hoard gold and wait, it is the dwarves that hoard gold, right? Or is it something else that they hoard? Oh, the dragons. All right. Okay. Okay. I get it. Thank you so much. Okay, love you, bye. I stand corrected, I'm more like a dragon. Apparently the dwarves will grab stuff, take it home and then bury it and keep it. But the dragons are the ones that like to surround themselves with it to look at. So I'm like a dragon and on the couch, I've had all of my goodies and Christmas gifts just sitting up on the couch so that every time I walk into the living room, I can see them and admire them. I have like a little shrine. If you don't wanna watch this, please just click off. I will see you in my next video. These what I got for Christmas videos are some of my favorite ones to watch during the season between Christmas and New Year's. I'll make breakfast sometimes and just put on a what I got for Christmas video and it just feels so comfy and cozy and it makes me happy. I also get a lot of ideas for future Christmas gifts and a lot of you have told me that you love taking notes during these videos to also maybe remember things for next year that you might want to get a loved one. I do want to say that my best gifts that I got this year are the memories that I have made the trips that I've taken, the conversations that I've had, the blessings I've had with my health, even though it has been a hard year health-wise, there are still so many blessings that I can't even count. Those really are the real lasting gifts that I'm going to remember for years to come. But also gift giving is my love language. I love giving gifts and I also love receiving gifts, not necessarily because of the actual physical item, but for the meaning behind it that I feel seen and known by that person. Anyway, let's just get on with it. So I'm gonna start with my stocking. Jared absolutely killed it again this year, as he does every year. I have been really into candle carousels this year, the little spinner that goes on top of candles. It's usually like gold or brass or silver. And he said that he had seen me make a comment at World Market when we were there a few months ago about how I love this. And he went and got it for me and put it in my stocking. When it spins, it hits the chimes. And it's the most beautiful Christmas decoration. And it's not even a Christmas decoration. I could leave this up all year round if I wanted to. And then he got me extra candles to go along with it for when those burn out. I've mentioned briefly before, but I don't know if anybody knows unless you watched my Christmas video or what I got for Christmas video last year, but I'm a popcorn girl. Like different seasonings, different types of popcorn. I love it. So he got me the same thing. I think he got this last year. It's the Amish country popcorn pack. So it has popcorn and then it has the butter and oil that you cook it in and then it also has the salt to put on top and it's just this little packet so you have everything you need all in one and then to go with it he got me this popcorn seasoning set I'm so excited to try these my favorite popcorn seasoning though by far that beats out all others is salt and vinegar if you're a salt and vinegar person you got and then moving into chocolates. He does the best every year. I have mostly finished this one. I also have a dark chocolate one. These are chocolate marzipan logs. So we have dark chocolate and milk chocolate. And then these little mini Santas. They're just milk chocolate Santas and they're so cute. I haven't opened these yet. A very perfect reading treat, you know? Like you just slowly eat the chocolate while you read your Christmas books. And then a chocolate orange. We get these for each other every year. Jared always gets me the milk chocolate orange and I always get him the toffee milk chocolate. And then he got me these gummy bears. These are my favorite gummy bears. They don't have any color dyes and the flavors, I don't know, they just taste real rather than the artificial flavors, even though I know they probably use artificial flavors. 
but it does say natural strawberry flavor and natural pineapple flavor, so it's not artificial, which is just even better. Flavors in this pack are banana, pineapple, and strawberry. None of the cherry and grape. If you're a cherry or grape person, I'm sorry, but I, it's just not my cup of tea. He also got me this adorable, look at how cute this is. It's a maple leaf and it's maple syrup. I put maple syrup in lots of things as a sweetener versus regular sugar. He just knows I love maple syrup. So this was so cute and so thoughtful. Along with other little mini things, he got me the Bon Maman. I still never know if I'm saying that right. Bon, bon Maman, Bon Maman. I don't know how to say it without an accent, with an American accent. Bon Maman. Just, just forget that I said it incorrectly. It's the Fig Preserve, which is one of my favorite flavors, and it's so tiny. I can just carry it in my purse. I almost don't want to use it because it's so cute and little. And then he got me a traditional panettone. I love these. This is a traditional Italian Christmas cake. I don't know how to, it's not a bread, but it's not a cake. It's its own thing. And if you've never tried panettone, I highly recommend it. It's such a delicious, delicious Christmas treat. And then he got me a pomegranate. We usually do the tradition of putting an orange or some nuts or pomegranate in the bottom of the stocking and he got me a pomegranate because I love these and I got him an orange because he's more of an orange guy. And then he also got me this mold apple cider tea from, wait, not apple cider, apple spice from the Republic of Tea. I am a huge fan of the Republic of Tea and mold apple spice is one of my favorite flavors for this time of year. So I will be drinking this long into January. And then he also got me a pop socket for my phone. I've actually never used one of these but recently I've just been feeling like my little pinky because I hold my phone like this with my pinky underneath it and I've just been complaining about it a little bit so it was very thoughtful of him to get me this pop socket. I've never seen a prettier pop socket and I think it will look really pretty on the back of my book phone case that I have. That is everything from my stocking. Jared just every year he goes all out and I love him so much for it. He's the best. Oh, you guys, I know these are just items, but the fact that he got these for me, I still can't get over. I'm still screaming in my brain about the excitement I have. This first one, I cried maybe a little bit when I opened it. It is an art print of one of my favorite movies, Sound of Music. And I think this is the prettiest art print I've ever seen in my life. It's called the Do Re Mi print. I'll leave the artist um, down in the description box. It's a scene when they're up in the mountains and she's teaching them how to sing and they've got their little picnic and I just can't believe how perfect this is. He didn't frame it because he knows how much I love choosing the perfect frame for the perfect print so he said he would leave that up to me. But guys, I just, I cannot get over it. If this was all I got for Christmas, I would still be this excited. I'm just, I'm blown away. I'm so grateful. And then, this has kind of turned into a tradition. I love historical romance and every year Jared seems to get me a Georgette Hare special edition from the Folio Society. So this year he got me Frederica, which is the very first Georgette Hare book that I read. And just the case alone is absolutely stunning. It's so pretty. I love the artwork and then the book. <laughs> I'm dead. R.I.P. me, I died dead. This is too beautiful. I don't have a bookshelf yet that's even worthy of a book this beautiful. It has artwork all throughout the book. And just like with the art print, this is something that I will have forever. It's not an item that I'll use a couple times and then I won't be able to use it anymore. This is a forever gift. And then along with that book, he got me this stunning edition of Little Women. Little did I know, he got this for me when we went to visit Louisa May Alcott's house earlier this year, but I was outside getting some B-roll, filming the house, I don't know, and he got this inside for me because he thought I would want it because of how pretty it is. It's cloth bound, and I love this image they chose. Sorry for the reflection of the window. And the spine, the end pages. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love and I don't care who knows it. I'm in love with this book. Just like Frederica, there are illustrations all throughout. I'm, I'm still in shock. I own this. I'm holding it in my hands. Just because so many other people possibly have this and just because it's not worth so much money, 
doesn't change the fact that I'm still shocked that I can hold such a beautiful edition in my hands. And then he also got me an electric kettle. I drink tea daily and my favorite kettles are still back in storage in Utah and I've just been boiling it on the stove or occasionally in the microwave. But now I have a way to heat up water so quickly and it is so stunning. Oh, and I should have showed this earlier when I was doing my stocking, but he got me a popcorn maker. We usually just make it on the stove in a regular pan and cover it with a lid and it kind of pops up everywhere and you have to shake it. But now we have a proper way to make homemade popcorn. Hi baby. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Oh, and look at how cute you are. <laughs> this is my real present. We got Gatsby in February and he has been the biggest blessing in my life. You've gotten me through a lot, haven't you? He got me this sweater from L.L. Bean and it is made of 100% wool. This is another forever item, something I can use for the rest of my life and I can wear it season after season. I love this look of, I don't know what to call it. I imagine someone in the English countryside in their wellies walking around on a cold, dreary, wet day in this type of sweater and some nice corduroy pants and a scarf and a nice hat, like, I don't know but I'm gonna be her. I'm gonna be that person <laughs> in this outfit. And then, he absolutely spoiled me this year. This is from Lynn and Naive. I think, I think I'm saying that right. It's this dress and it's the most perfect dress I've ever seen. I'm so in awe that I'm gonna get to wear this. I'm gonna be a period drama girl. I'm gonna be romanticizing my walks in this, you better believe it. That's the nice thing about being an adult, isn't it? Because you stop growing, so if you get a good quality item, you can wear it for years and years and years, possibly the rest of your life. Okay, this item we actually kind of got together. <laughs> this is an item that I've been wanting for a year, and I'm on a restock list, an email list, and every time it restocks, it usually sells out within five to 10 minutes and I've always missed every restock. So Jared also had notifications for when it restocked, and I went in to tell him, hey, it just restocked, should I get it? And he said, I'll get it for you for Christmas. So we kind of got it together. This is the Jerf Avenue Summer Berries robe. It is so cute. And it's the towel material. So you can wear this to the beach, to go swimming in a lake, getting out of the shower. I like that it's not just the soft, fluffy material. I like that it actually absorbs water and is useful that way. And it's also super cute. He also got me, he is the sweetest man alive. He knows that I complain about my ears getting cold. I don't know if any of you have this phenomenon, this thing where it can be not even cold outside. It can be like, 50 degrees, 60 degrees, but if there's some cold breeze coming through, hits my ears, I get the sensation that my ears are underwater, like the pressure of the water hurts. Like that's the type of pain that I experience. And he got me this bonnet from Damson Matter. I think I'm saying that correctly. Just put it on like this. Wait, am I putting it on the right way? And I can wear a little bonnet when I go outside, especially when it's windy. It's so cute! Are you kidding me? This is so cute! So he got me this one, but then he also said if I want a bit more protection, he got this one, which I'm not gonna put on, but it covers like your entire head, almost like a scarf and a hood. It had a baby. It was again so thoughtful of him. And then, okay, oh my gosh. This present, I also may have cried a little bit when I opened. This is one I, I put on my wish list and I said, don't worry about getting it. It's, it's kind of expensive, but this was my Taylor Swift year. I went to the Eras tour and this was also the year that we moved to Rhode Island, which if you're a Swifty, that will make a lot of sense in just a second. I'm gonna stand up and show you this and hopefully I'm not putting it upside down. <laughs> it says, I had a marvelous time ruining everything and that is the house holiday house, the house that Taylor Swift bought in Rhode Island and wrote a song about being the year that we moved here to Rhode Island and also having this be the house, the 
her house in Rhode Island and then the song lyrics from the song. This was such a meaningful gift and I don't even want to put it on my bed. I want to hang it up on my wall, look at it every day. It means so much that he got this for me. Okay, those are all my gifts from Jared. Moving on to my dad. He is the sweetest. Dad, if you're watching this, thank you again for the presents. He got me the Great British Baking Show game. If you don't know, this is one of my favorite comfort shows. Great British Baking Show and Gilmore Girls, they go hand in hand. I watch them all the time. And I also love board games. So this is the absolute perfect gift. And then he also got me this candle warmer. I have wanted one of these for so long. You put your candle down here and then you turn this on and it heats it up so that you can get the scent of the candle without actually burning it, which is great if you live in an apartment or somewhere where you can't burn candles. And it's this little like tulip. This is going to go on my nightstand next to my bed. I'm obsessed. And then my mom, my mom is so sweet. She's the like sentimental, gonna get you a gift that means something, but also like thrift the perfect items. But also this is such a mixed bag, it's so funny. So the first thing she got me was this life vac, which she informed me if you are choking on anything, you can save yourself, you can save somebody next to you. I don't know if it works on animals, but that would be great if it did. So this is just a great thing to have. My mom, practical as she is, thank you for this, mom. And then she also got me this little cutie. She said that it reminded me of her and that it looks like me and that I can decorate with it during fall. And then she also got me the Taylor Swift time issue with Benjamin around her neck. That's her rag doll. And she put it in this little protective paper so that I can maybe frame it and keep it forever. My mom is so thoughtful. And then she also got me the sweetest ornament. This was so cute. She made this herself. It's a Christmas tree that has a bunch of colors that a bunch of them are similar to Taylor Swift album co covers. And then she printed out pictures of me at the Eras tour. So there's me with my merch. And then SoFi Stadium, that's the stadium we went to. And then there's me and Jared all dressed up. And then she also has CD covers printed out. Wait, what's this? TS made with the beads for the friendship bracelet. And then down here is the 13. This was the Eras Tour year for us. So this was amazing. And then also because this was a big year for launching our sweatshirts, she got us an ornament of a Christmas sweater to represent us launching our sweatshirts. And then my sister got me this cute little floral pot that I can put on my bookshelf. I love it. It will go so perfect on my bookshelf, especially during springtime. And then moving on to Jared's parents, they usually give us money and I go out and buy books with it. But this year they gave physical presents. First, she got me a bunch of socks. Such, such pretty socks. I love these. These are such good quality too. And then she got me a mug that said, wait, what does it say? Today is a chocolate kind of day. And then this blanket that has emperor penguins on it. Perfect for snuggling up on the couch, reading a book, eating my Christmas chocolate. She did also give me a sweater, but I wore it the other day and it is being washed right now, but it's a really pretty cream sweater. Oh, I completely forgot. I have a couple other gifts from my mom. My mom also gave me, look how cute this is. It's a tea bag that you can put loose leaf tea in, but it has this little charm on the end and it's a cat. I don't know if you can see. So cute. And then she also got me this book. It's called Nothing Much Happens, Cozy and Calming Stories to Soothe Your Mind and Help You Sleep by Catherine Nic Nicolai, creator and host of the podcast, Nothing Much Happens. Just full of stories to help you sleep. And my mom told me that she specifically thought I would love it because not only do I struggle with anxiety and I can have bad mental health days, like everyone pretty much, but they go in order of season. So they start with winter and then go into spring, summer, and fall. Mom, if you're watching this, thank you so much. I'm so excited to read those and keep that by my bedside. And those are all the presents that I got for Christmas. I'm so grateful, not just for the presents, but all the memories and experiences that I have made this year. It was a really, really hard year and it was really challenging, but coming out of it all, I'm so grateful to look back at everything that I experienced. I'm wishing you a happy new year going into 2024. I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas, that you were able to spend time with loved ones and make memories and take some time to rest and relax and recuperate. But if that isn't the case, know that you are so strong and it's okay to not be okay. It's okay. We all go through chapters in our lives where we experience the highs and some it's the time for us to experience the lows. 
but just know that better times are coming. Fingers crossed that 2024 will be a great year full of positive experiences. I'm hanging on to hope for that for all of us. I'm wishing you all of the love. I'm giving you all a big virtual hug. Thank you so much for being part of this community and for changing my life the way you have in this past year. I have a lot of plans for this new year. I'm very excited. I will see you soon after we take a nice break. Until then, you have my love and my well wishes and I will see you in 2024. Bye friends.